Hello, it's May 27th and I thought I would take you for a walk in the woods and show you some of the wildflowers that are growing. My name is Deborah Weaver, I'm from the Westport River Watershed Alliance and I've got you on the GoPro with me so I'm gonna take you for a little walk into this property which is owned by the Westport Land Conservation Trust. This is the first of the flowers that I thought you would enjoy seeing. This is the wild version of Lilies of the Valley. And we've just stepped into this park and found it almost right away. And here's another flower that I thought you'd enjoy seeing. This is a wild version of the wind flower. And there's lots of those here. So this is the flower that I was hoping I could find. And I'm going to get really close so you can see this it is called a jack in the pulpit. And I'm folding back the sort of bucket-like flower. And there you can see the piston. Isn't that wild? Look at the black of this leaf that covers over. Here's another one. Isn't that the craziest thing? It looks like Dr. Seuss created that. So you can find these by looking for one, two, three leaves. Okay, so that is a good symbol for how you can find the Jack in the Pulpit. So this is one. Also back there is one. Over there. Those ones haven't gotten their flowers yet, but those are also Jack in the Pulpits. Now these are not flowers, but I do think they're quite lovely. These are the ferns that have been unfurling and have now just gotten all the way unfolded. And here in the Noquichoke property of the Westport Land Trust, um, I'm hiking with my dog, Lola. Lola, wanna say hi? There's Lola. And we are looking for wildflowers so we're going to keep walking and hope to find some other interesting plants. This is a beautiful time of year, May, end of May, warm, 20, 73 degrees. The woods are just beautiful and things are really sprouting in here. Here's another windflower. Here we have quite a nice mat of flowers. All of these are wild. Nice light. Here we have again a nice mat of wild lilies of the valley, all blooming. If I see some, I can also point out to you what it looks like when poison ivy is coming in. I know a lot of you are probably pretty allergic, which I have never gotten poison ivy, but I would not say that I would be sh confident that I wouldn't get it. So here we have more beautiful carpet of these wild lilies of the valley. Again, we're getting very close to these nice wind flowers, and there's a big carpet of them in here. This plant right here, that's called a creeping jenny, and it's very similar looking to something called a princess pine, but the princess pine stands a little taller. The creeping jenny is low lying. Kind of neat to get in close, isn't it? Uh, 
I've been trying to get you out into the woods to see these wonderful orchids. Do you see that beautiful pink color? It's a lady slipper. They look a little bit like, I have to say, like a pair of lungs. But hopefully we'll find some more. There's a trampled one there. So we'll keep looking. Here we are again. These are just beautiful. So this is the only orchid that is native to Massachusetts. And they also happen to be an endangered species. So please do not pick them if you see them. Lady slippers. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's another one. We're going to get really close to this one so you can see the pattern. Isn't that cool? So when these um, when these orchids first come up, they come up like a little seed pod, very tightly packed. It almost looks like a hosta is about to join us. <laughs> and um, then they, the flower is encased in this tight cover. And as it grows, they push open this, which was originally a very pale, pale white. So they're very neat. Let's get right in close so you can see the colors in the lungs. Pretty amazing, huh? So here, these ones are neat. They're very, like, mid-color mid pink. But over here, they're very deep-colored pink. I'm going to take you a little closer. How about that? One, two, three. Isn't that neat? Beautiful. I'm here on uh, May 28th with my friend B and my dog Lola. Lola's right here. She's a very faithful companion. You might have seen her in the skunk cabbage video, but I think you probably only saw her tail feathers. Um, so we're continuing to look for wildflowers in May 2020. Look at that color. Woo! Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Almost psychedelic. Beautiful. Just tucked in here. I was saying earlier that they start out coming out with this sheathing and you see how pale that one is? So this one's just starting to bud up and over here, one, two, three, four, have really opened up and the uh, sheathing has sprawled out. So that's pretty beautiful. These lady slippers love this kind of pine needly, very damp forest. And here's one that hasn't started growing its flower yet. So that's pretty exciting for those of us who love lady slippers. There's one that's mid growth. So now we're going to do a panorama shot of many many lady slippers all in a row here all in different stages of growth there's some real short ones this one's particularly big and bulbous so there must be about 20 here in a row and so beautiful Thank you for joining me on this wildflower tour. I've really enjoyed being with you today. So give us a call at the watershed office, 508-636-3016, if you're enjoying these videos or if you want another topic that you'd like to suggest to us. And I hope you and your family stay safe and strong.